guys, it's Wednesday. It's it's literally Wednesday. It is 3.38 in the morning on Wednesday. Um, I'm outside and the quality is probably kind of icky bad. There's a mosquito. I'm outside, my roommates are sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So I'm doing this outside and I hope you can even hear me. And I hope I'm not being too loud. And I heard something like run outside, like boop, 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 boop. So I'm kind of scared too, so I want to get this done fast so I can get the hell out of here. I wouldn't normally be reviewing this movie, um, not because it's one of my all-time favorites of all time, but I'm kind of nervous to review a very well-known movie because I feel like I can't do it justice because it's so good. Like, I'll, maybe I'll miss something or I'll forget something and people will be like, but anyway, there's a reason, a specific reason why I have to review this movie today. It's upside down. The Never Ending Story. If you haven't seen this, I don't know what's going on with you in movies and not watching them, but it's a classic 1984 Wolfgang Peterson. Oh, I was right. 1984 and Wolfgang Peterson. I was right on both of them. But yeah, um, on the back it says, Brilliant, the most fascinating family film since E.T., and I agree with that. It might even be better than E.T. in some aspects. Um, it's just got great characters, it's got a great story. Um, it starts up with this kid, uh, Bastion, played by Ball Bar uh, Barrett Oliver, um, and I think I'm hearing stuff outside, but I'm not, and he is getting bullied by these kids and they're chasing him and stuff like that, and he runs into a bookstore, and there's a guy in there who's like, alright kids, get out of here, that type of stuff, and it ends up that they talk a little bit and the phone rings and the old man gets the phone and the kid sees this book, it's called Never Ending Story, it's a big book, it's got a really cool snake orange thing on the back of it <laughs> and on the front of it not the back and he takes the book and he runs out and he leaves a note so I'll bring your book back so he goes to school he looks in the window he sees having a math class so he doesn't want to go so he goes upstairs in the attic of I guess it's not an attic it's like a storage thing where they keep props for plays and he's in there and he locks the door and he begins to read the book and he ends up reading the whole book and the stories in there and the characters and the um just all all these costumes it's such it's such it's a beautiful it's a well done amazing movie um i think this is good for anyone it's good for adults and it's good for kids too i don't want to reveal anything at all about this movie because it's really that good um okay i guess that that's that's good enough for now and i will reveal to you right now why I had to review this movie. About three days ago, I got a tattoo of the Orin, which is the snakes on the book, and Atreyu wears it. Atreyu is the character in the book that Bastion is reading. Okay, are you ready? It hurts so bad, but it's worth it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so, Never Ending Story, if you've seen it, you know how awesome it is. If you haven't seen it, seriously, go see it today. Today, make a rent, go to somewhere, order it online, do something, but make a mission to watch it today. Even if you've seen it, watch it again.